Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 2005 uh, BMW 630i convertible. Finished in um, silver grey. It's um, gunmetal, probably not that's what it's called. I'll have to have a little look on the, uh, in the paperwork. Uh, usual spec, fitted with 19-inch um, alloys. One, two, three, the five-spoke ones. Um, dark grey leather, almost black actually. Uh, usual it's got sat nav on it it's got part distance control front and rear <coughs> excuse me um, xenon lamps headlamp wash wipe headlamp wash rather um, auxiliary lamps on the front obviously power roof power seats uh, mirrors windows everything uh, it's also got the wind deflector in the boot and there's the uh, little well the, the, um, the rear window comes up there as it should uh, when the roof is up but there is a proper wind deflector in the boot as well Right, let's come in and pick out some good bits and bad bits. It's done, what, 110,000 miles. It's actually in surprisingly good condition for its uh, age and mileage. Around the front end, we've just got uh, one or two stone chips here and there. There's a couple of bug marks, but one or two stone chips on the nose cone. Uh, there's a chip there and a chip there, and one on the back of the bonnet just up there. Um, and another one just there, so a few stone chips on the bonnet. Uh, I think we've got a couple of other ones over there, actually. Are they just... No, that's just um, polish marks. Uh, so yeah, few, and quite a bit of stone chipping around the front of the nose cone by the kidneys just there. Um, near side corner all looks very nice. Looking down the near side, she looks as straight as a die down there. Um, we've known this car for a number of years actually. Around down the near side all looks very, very nice indeed. There's a tiny chip just there about sort of uh, five millimeters long on the sill cover on the near side just there but that's about it otherwise that's all good in here oh, it's locked well, now set the alarm off oh, clever there we go um, inside here it's all exactly as it should be uh, seats are in good shape dash is nice Nothing to really comment on here. We'll go around to the driver's seat in a minute. In the back here, it's all as it should be. Door card's all good, all very nice. Near side rear wing is all very nice. Again, there's another little chip just there, just in the, um, in the sill cover. So a couple of chips in the sill covers on the near side. Um, but round the tail end here, she all looks very good. A couple of small scratches on the top surface of the rear bumper just where things have been taken in and out of the boot um, but boot lid is all nice that's all good there looking down the offside again very straight very correct nothing to um, nothing to comment on there I'll come back to the wheels in a minute there's quite a lot of stone chipping down here actually the, the near side looks like it's got a cover on there to stop this but the offside hasn't so there's quite a lot of stone chipping here on the back of the um, the offside sill cover and a little bit of paint's just come off there, just on the on the crease. Um, so a bit stone chip there. So the near side's got a plastic piece over that, which stops that, but this side hasn't, for some reason. Um, offside door, there's a chip just there. And it's lost a bit of its um, black finish around the bottom of the mirror on the driver's side. Uh, offside front wing is all good, that's all nice. Now the wheels have lost a fair bit of their lacquer, especially here on the offside. There's quite a lot of lacquer loss around the rim on that one, um, as, as there is on the, on the offside rear one, including down here on the offside rear. The near side rear is actually not too bad. It's lost a bit up there, but it's not bad at all. And the near side front isn't very good either. There's lots, lots of peeling lacquer and stuff around here. Not badly curbed, just uh, lost a lot of the lacquer. Um, that's about it, really. Nice car. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk, for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards, and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards, and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously, at a cost. That's about it. And